Good morning, Carson. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, man, great to have you on the Gary Harris Show. Buddy, I'm telling you, I saw that tweet last week, and and uh, I guess I knew I, 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 somewhere along the line, I knew you had had an interest in music, but to sit there at TIA Bank Field and jam with Ricky Medlock and, and Johnny Van Zant, Jacksonville guys, on the signature tune of Sweet Home Alabama, getting the roll tide rolling there and everything, uh, man, not many people get to experience that. Just, just tell me what that was like and how it came about. Um, I mean, it was super cool. Like anything that you could imagine, how I felt. I mean, that's how I felt. Grab <laughs> it. Um, he kind of just put, put it all together. He wanted to because it was his job to kind of fill the promo, and uh, he knew that that I played guitar. So he reached out to me and was like, hey, you want to jam with these guys and kind of give them a tour of the stadium? And I was like, yeah, I'm all over that. So, uh, um, I mean, it was awesome how I came together. Those are some great guys, too, Johnny and Ricky. I had a lot of fun hanging out with them. Um, I mean, they're just two, you know, just normal, cool guys. Um, so it was it was really fun just to, to get to hang out with them. Absolutely. And you're good, man. I mean, that's the thing. It wasn't like you were just, uh, you were just long for the ride there. I mean, you, you can, you can, uh, you can play. How long you been playing guitar? I, I appreciate it. Um, I, I grew up playing, I was in playing in the praise band and stuff, you know, playing guitar mm-hmm. and, uh, was actually, uh, used to play it around. This show's based in Tuscaloosa, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We used to, we had a little bar or a little, uh, little band that played at rounders. Oh, yeah. uh, during the weeknights in the summer. Um, I mean, we weren't any good, but uh, <clears throat> I played a little bit up there. And then last year when I tore Mace Hill, I, I really started playing again. Um, and, uh, I mean, I, I love playing guitar. I love music. Um, so it, it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, I, I grew up playing those songs, too. You know, they're like, oh, when did you learn how to play that? I was like, <laughs> fifth grade, you know? So <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it was a really cool experience. Yeah, well, you know, um, we're going to get into a moment. You've been through a tragedy. Of course, Leonard Skinner went through a tragedy. And and to have Medlock back, who was a founding member, then left to play with Blackfoot. And, of course, Johnny Van Sant, uh, uh, Ronnie's younger brother, carrying on that band. What a what an amazing uh, run that they have had. Uh, before we get uh, into April 27, 2011, and, and your great book that you wrote, and I do want to cover some of that, I want to get to some football first. And... You know, you carved out a, a nice role with, with yourself there as a long snapper with the Jags, and you think about that, that is a position that nobody ever thinks about it until there's a bad snap. And, and you know, we we know what it can lead to, disaster. Um, you're rolling along there, and then you tear your ACL last year and uh, don't get to play. Um, now that you're back, do you have to re-win your job, or, or do you inherit it back as the starting snapper? How does that work? What are you up against in training camp this year, um, Carson? Yeah, I mean, I definitely have to go back and, and, and prove myself again. You know, um, it's it's uh, always competition up here. That's, that's one of the, the things that they've uh, kind of created as, as a culture is, you know, everybody competes, everybody works hard. So I'm definitely coming in with a mindset that i got to earn my job back. You know, nothing nothing's given in the NFL. you got to earn everything. So I, I'm definitely, you know, got my mind right to compete and, and come back and earn it. <clears throat> How do you feel? Are you 100% healthy, ready to go? Yes, sir. Uh, I feel great. Um, I guess I am fortunate, you know, the timing that I tore my ACL right. at the beginning of camp. So I've had a I've had a full year, you know, to recover now. Um, I, I feel really good. Really been, you know, working hard, pushing it hard, especially you know the past couple of weeks, getting ready to go to camp. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I feel, I feel great, man. Yeah, I think y'all start on Thursday. Is your your snap times where they need to be before pre injury? <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, that's what I tell everybody. Snap is the easy part up here. You got to be able to block, mm-hmm. and uh, that, that, that's the tough part. So, uh, uh, I mean, I feel good. I feel like I'm stronger. You know, my, my numbers in the weight room are definitely stronger because I mean, I worked out for a whole year, so my, my numbers are stronger in the weight room than they've ever been. Uh, feel good on the field. Feel good blocking. So uh, now, just I got to go out there and get hit a couple times, you know, get back in the swing of things, get hit in the mouth. So, <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, though. Yeah, you know, I I see snappers around the league, and don't get me wrong, they're not small guys, but you are, uh, you know, just from a physical standpoint, you're you're one of the bigger, more muscular snappers that I that I see. What are you weighing, and is that something that? Uh, that you desire to be as a big physical guy, even though of course the most important thing is getting that snap off. But as you said, you got to block, you got to cover, 
How much time do you, and effort do you put into being a big, strong, physical, fast guy, even though you're a snapper? Um, well, I'm about I'm about six one, two forty right now, uh, and I I do put a lot of you know time in the weight room because I feel like the stronger I am, you know, the easier it makes my job. Not that my job's easy, but uh, I mean, I got to block you know guys that play linebacker in the NFL, and and those guys are are strong too. So <clears throat> I think the uh, you know, the stronger I can be, uh, the more, you know, advantage I give myself in, in terms of protecting. So uh, I, I definitely try to put a lot of time in, in, in getting that right. Carson Tinker with us from the Jacksonville Jaguars, former Alabama standout here on the Gary Harris Show. Uh, of course, uh, the year that you were out, uh, you, you, you know, I read, I was doing some research for the interview, and I read where you said that uh, some degree it was a, bl- a blessing in disguise. Uh, you and your wife, Annie, uh, Gave birth to Hootie on December the third, so you're a father you now. Birth. I, was, I was just there. Well, you were all <laughs> hey, you were hey, you were an important part of it. Let's say that. And uh, what's what's that been like? I mean, everybody that I talk to that's a first time father just says it changes your life. What's it been like being a dad and and having some time to to be at home with your wife and, and your newborn son? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm very thankful that I, I got to be there for the whole thing because he's actually born on Sunday, so. Uh, you know, when we were talking, when we found out she was pregnant, what I was going to do if he happened to be, you know, born on a game day. And, I mean, we, we didn't know what we were going to do. Um, so I was very fortunate that I got to be there. And, and I got to be there, you know, as as he's growing up. Um, I mean, I've been there every day for the past seven months now. Wow. And uh, <clears throat> it's, it's just been awesome. I love being a dad. It is definitely, I mean, one of the coolest things that I've ever got to experience, you know. Um I mean, it is, I mean, it, it is life changing. Everybody says that, and it definitely is. Uh, changes my priorities, you know. Changes my <clears throat> my outlook on a lot of things, and uh, I just I love that kid so much. So blessed. Yeah, and, and just what a what a great life you you've you've got, and that you've carved out for yourself. Uh, when you go back in Man. time, um, you know, it didn't look like um, you know that might be the case. I mean, you went through. Uh, that devastating tornado on April 27, 2011 here in Tuscaloosa, an E4 tornado that killed uh, a number of people, including your girlfriend, Ashley Harrison. You had severe injuries, didn't even know if you'd play football again. You documented that in a book with our friend uh, Tommy Ford, A Season to Remember Faith in the Midst of the Storm. And I read the book, actually gave away a copy here on the show. Uh, incredible. And, and the thing that stands consistent through that and you said in the title faith in the midst of the storm was your faith and how you never seemed to waver or if you did uh you didn't waver long because you you kept your eye on the prize which was was for you just trusting in god and getting through this and it all came back to you You played that season on national championship team you made it into the nfl uh you took that that really tragic time in your life and the best you could you turned it into positive what Let's expand on that, particularly your faith and how it got you through what at the time was just a terrible tragedy. Yeah, I mean, it was a tragedy, but at the same time, I still had a lot to be thankful for, you know, and kind of my motto was, <clears throat> is I don't want, I, I don't want blessings. I want to be a blessing. And that's kind of the way that I looked at it was <clears throat> I knew that, you know, especially in Tuscaloosa, I had a lot of eyes on me and they were going to see how, you know, I responded. So I just, I said, God, let's do this, man. Give me strength. And if anybody, you know, can see you through me, you know, your, your will be done. And, uh, it's just crazy how far, you know, I've, I've come since then. And, um, I just, I mean, like I said, I just have so much to be thankful for. You really do. And, um, when you were laying in that hospital bed though, and, um, you're dealing with all that, did you at the time have any doubts as to whether or not you'd ever play football again? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, maybe I'm stupid for saying that, but uh, that was always my goal was to get back out on the field. And, um, you know, I, I was not going to be denied, you know. That's what Saban always says. We will not be denied right. what we want. And I feel like that's kind of was kind of my motto. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, ne- I never really had any doubt. And like I said, maybe I was naive for thinking that. Um, but, uh, you know, just, you know, keeping my, keeping my head down and working hard and, you know, everything kind of coming to fruition is, is a, uh, it's a, it's really cool to see, you know, like I said, I got, I got so much to be thankful for. It was definitely a process, you know, getting back out there, but, uh, 
tell you what, man, I never thought I'd be here. You know, I, I still got my head down and still work hard. And, uh, I'm, I'm going to ride this train as long as it'll take me, you know? Yeah. So, you know, that I'm glad you brought that up because there was no, no given as a former walk on as a snapper jobs are hard to come by in the NFL. Um, it sounds like you take it, uh, you know, every day that you, that you are appreciative of the fact that you are an NFL football player and you have been for several years and, uh, Growing up here in Alabama, picking that guitar, I, that probably seemed like a, a long shot, but you've made it. Uh, what, what's that like, just to be an NFL football player? Uh, it's definitely something that uh, I don't take for granted, but at the same time, I don't I don't try to look at it more than what it is. Like, it is my job, and I did work hard to get here. Um, and I, I know that, you know, if, if I start coasting and taking it easy, somebody else is out there working you know, to, to, to take my job. So that's something that I always keep in the back of my head. I don't try to make it, you know, more than what it is. Um, I feel like I deserve to be here. I've earned the right to be here and, uh, I'm going to continue work to be here. So. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Last couple minutes with Carson Tinker, uh, back to that 2011 season coming off the tornado. Nick Saban said, you know, he didn't want to, um, certainly make light of any tragedy, but, but football seemed to help heal this community. You know how important football is here in Tuscaloosa and in this state. And for that team to come out and win a national championship on the uh, on the heels of that tragedy, what was that like to be a part of? And did you sense that Alabama football played a big part in healing this community? Um, you know, I don't want to put a blanket statement on it. I feel like everybody had their own you know things they were dealing with, and I'm sure that you know there was some non football fans that were affected. And, you know, they were able to to get out of there. But uh, for me personally, it, it was a huge, uh, <clears throat> it was a huge uh, encouragement, I guess, you know, to to go out there and and win games uh, and win a national championship. It was, uh, I don't know, it was just, it was really, uh, I was really fortunate to to be a, man, because I, I I have thought to people that you know said that it, it was you know, a, a relief or a distraction or an encouragement to them. And I'm just, I'm glad that, you know, I could be there and be a part of that. Speaking of winning a championship, that's the goal of your current team. Uh, last season while you were out with the ACL, uh, the Jags went all the way to the AFC championship game, uh, gave the Patriots all they could handle. This is a young team. I say a relative young team, still a team that that's coming together, but one of the best teams now in the NFL. Uh, what is uh, that like to, to know that uh, you're part of a team that has a, opportunity potentially is good enough to, to win the Super Bowl? Um, it's very exciting. You know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to get back and, uh, you know, camp this year. Um, I mean, we, we worked hard last year as a team, and I know that, you know, we're going to work even harder this year. So uh, I'm trying to get my mind right for that because I know that camp's going to be pretty brutal. But uh, I think everybody as a team feels like, you know, that's what, you know, made us one of the better teams, made us come together. So uh, I am really excited about this year and, uh, you know, what we can do. We got, like, like you said, we got some young guys. We got guys, you know, that are, uh, that, that are, you know, well-vetted and uh, leaders like Calais Campbell. He's an, he's an old head. Uh, so we got a little bit of both. And uh, I'm just, I'm excited that, you know, I can be just a small part of it, you know. Well, man, we're proud of you. I mean, as I said, what a life you carved out for yourself. You're, you're a father, you're a husband, you're an NFL football player. I guess the only thing left now is you got to, to jam with Medlock and, and Van Zant uh, in the stadium. Will you be getting up on stage with them? Maybe you already have. I don't know. Is that is that a goal to, uh, to get on stage and jam with Leonard Skinner? Man, that would be awesome. You know, I, I got a long way to go before I can hang with those guys. <laughs> but uh, maybe one day, you know. Yeah, we'll be looking for it. I think it could happen. I mean, I, I think, you know, now with your track record of, of playing with them, all you got to do when, you know, obviously can't conflict with football, but get their tour schedule and, uh, and show up somewhere <laughs> to show. And if they know you're there, I, I knowing those guys, I bet you'll be up on stage. So that'll be a bucket man. list item that you got a chance to mark off, man. I was, uh, I was able to, to play a little bit more than, you know, what, what was on the videos and on Twitter. Uh, and it was very humbling. I'll, I'll say that, you know, they, those guys are really good at guitar. So well, Ricky <laughs> I, I got a, a guitar legend. He's a, gu he's a guitar legend, buddy. So you were, you man. were up there with one of the, one of the best. Well, man, listen, we appreciate the time. We know you're busy. Uh, as I said, I guess you're already uh, there. Just, uh, is your first practice on Thursday? Is that right? 
Yes, sir. I'm sitting in the locker room right now. I reported because uh, I was injured last year. I had to report early. Um, I think everybody else gets here tomorrow, and then our first practice on Thursday. Well, good luck, man. We'll be watching you and uh, and uh, continued success. As I said, we're proud of you, and thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Roll Tide.